In this video, we show how we use the Microsoft Kinect sensor to create personalized 3D face avatars. Here we see our general hardware setup. The user sits in front of the Kinect camera and receives a real-time feedback of his captured face on the screen, augmented with face feature points. This allows him to adjust his position before the data is captured. At his own discretion, the user pushes a button to capture the current data. After approximately 18 seconds, he receives the reconstructed and textured 3D avatar. In the following, we describe the individual steps of our algorithm, starting with the preparation of the raw camera data. This is the raw depth data received by the Kinect sensor. We improve this noisy and whole containing data in two steps. First, we take the average depth values of 8 subsequent frames. We call this step temporal smoothing. In addition, we perform a filtering with a 3x3 Gauss filter. On the corresponding RGB image, we use OpenCV to detect the regions containing face features. Mapping these regions to the geometry assists us to find the eyes, the nose tip and the chin. In order to reduce the costs in the subsequent steps, we separate the face from the rest of the input data. This is the resulting data from the acquisition part, which the user receives as real-time feedback. After the capturing, the data is automatically handed to the next stage, the geometry reconstruction. We use the detected feature points to estimate a rough initial alignment with our template mesh. Then we use non-rigid registration to deform the template mesh such that it best fits the input data. Here you can see the deformed template mesh, which contains all the dents and bumps that were originally present in the scanner data. To eliminate these artifacts, we fit a morphable face model to the deformed template mesh. Here we see our final reconstruction, which can be textured using the RGB image captured by the Kinect sensor. This overlay demonstrates how well our reconstruction matches the input scan. Finally, we compare our reconstruction to a scan of the same person which was acquired using a commercial high-quality 3D scanner. In the following, we show various reconstructed face models and potential applications. Since the reconstructed face models have one-to-one -one correspondences with our template face, we are easily able to animate the faces. Here we show how we can morph between different faces which were captured using our method.